if y'all watch this show any at all, y'all know that I like a lot of old stuff. And got a good old Ford pickup here. I know my uncle always told me if I ever found one that uh, we'd go halves on it. We'd buy it together. Well, I bought my half. Just waiting on his half now. Even came with a three on the tree. Well, guys, I'm going to show y'all kind of how to make a pickup bed trailer. Kind of redneck, but I like them. They're pretty neat and they're handy. Pretty much, get you an old pickup, cut it right behind the cab, and Bob's your uncle. You have a trailer almost. But uh, a couple of things I was going to point out. I'm going to try to keep this brace and this brace. This is what keeps the rigidity in the frame of the truck. So basically, we're going to notch back here and fold these two halves into the center to make our hitch. And uh, one thing I'm going to try to do is uh, put a removable hitch on this trailer. I live in a part of the country where thieving is huge around here. And I want to have something that I can take the hitch off of it and you don't have to worry about it. You can stick it anywhere and unless somebody steals something out of the back of it, then they can't get the trailer more or less. So I want to try it on something that, you know, didn't have a lot of money input into it in case something does happen, you know, have a catastrophic failure, that everything's okay, you know. Worst comes to worst, you know, you didn't lose much. But uh, uh, hopefully it'll be a real quick build and we'll see how it goes from here. So let's take a look at it. There's your problem.
persuasion. The truck is attacking me. They don't like me taking it apart. Come out of here, you sap sucker. There's one. Look back at it. Well, we got the cap out. bad shape. It's probably got about 50,000 more miles in there. More than I'm going to pull it. Ta-da! Just give you a little frame of reference. All I did was I measured off this rivet right here four inches back and then marked a 45 degree line on it and did the same thing on the bottom. As far as we'll notch in as we'll cut into here and do the same thing on the bottom. And this is only 3 16 plate so it should have been real easy. The reason I went off this rivet uh, a lot of times on frames especially on trucks or whatever if they drilled the holes they probably drilled them before they bent the all the angles and everything so it's probably a real precise layout wherever they put that so you know it's just as good right here as it is on the other side of the of the frame so just a reference Okay, there's a couple of ways you can bend these in, but we're going to try it the uh, old-fashioned way first. Uh, actually, worked pretty well. to resort to wait a minute we can get one more click that ain't half bad we're definitely gonna have to do some modifications to this though So what we can do here is we can cut these corners off right here and we can come in a little bit closer. Let's see how long that's going to make the time. It's going to be right at four feet, so that's, that's not too terribly bad. All right, let's keep working on it.
All right, you can see we got quite an apparatus here. I was lucky enough to have some holes that were already in the frame, so in case you don't get lucky enough to do that, you can just weld some nuts to the frame itself and pull it in the same way. But this right here is the secret to all the success. That right there is nothing but a two inch receiver to fit a hitch on a truck. And I'm sure some of y'all are wondering, well, how in the world is that gonna work? What you know about that? You can put any kind of hitch that you can dream up as long as it'll fit inside that two inch receiver. But uh, I believe this is, I'm gonna get it tacked up and see how everything fits. One note that I want to say is when you're building a trailer, always check your height for the truck you're going to pull it with. Because you, you don't want to be constantly having to flip your hitch over or do whatever you got to do to, to get it the same height. So I've got a heavy trailer that's about this height when I pull it, so I'm going to mount it the same height as my truck. So hopefully it'll still pull you know, square down the road or level down the road. So you always want to look out for that. have noticed I've had to switch sides with the combo on. I had to pull this side over more to get the hitch centered up. So all I did was I took my tape measure, I went off one of these back rivets up here, the center of the rivet, measured from it to the front of the hitch. And as long as both of your numbers line up from either side, you're square, meaning that your, your hitch here is square with the truck. So, little stuff like that, that's Trailer Building 101, but if you don't do stuff like that, it's a good chance that your trailer can pull crooked, so, just a reminder, get that bad boy tacked up. down here 
there's not a whole lot of strength. You know, you got your tube up here, but it's not going the full distance. So what I've done is cut this little piece of uh, just quarter inch bar stock, and we're gonna fit it up in here just like that on the inside. That way it ties these two in together and helps strengthen this bottom piece so it ain't so, so it's more rigid pretty much. So let's get it in there.
I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my buddies at Smart Flare. If y'all watched any of my videos, they sent me this one uh, a couple months back. I love this thing. Uh, you can tell I got a lot of witness marks on it now. But I like flashlights that are bright enough that you can see, but they're not so bright that they blind you. So if you're looking for a pretty good portable flashlight that's light, then these here work pretty good. A lot of times on bigger flashlights, you try to stick them somewhere and they kind of holding on to them at the same time and it, it's worthless. These right here, literally, I can, I've hung this one all kinds of different places and I love it. It's, it's great. But the new ones they sent me, they're like little pocket versions of it. You can see they got a little clip on them. You can put them on your hat or in your shirt pocket, whatever you got. And they got all the same modes as the bigger ones got. You got a forward on, back on, both sides on, and they got a strobe if you hold it down. And pretty cool. They got really strong magnets on the back of them, so you can hook them to a piece of steel, and they're really strong, which I like. Another cool thing I like about these is they're rechargeable. They got a UBS port on the back of them, and they got a little indicator light to tell you whenever they're fully charged. So you can use your cell phone charger to charge them, or your computer, or whatever you've got. So. I highly recommend them. I'll put a link in the description to show you where you can find these. And thank y'all. I appreciate it. Well, there you go, guys. Got a pretty good stance on it. I just got to clean the trailer out. Pull my tree out, I guess. And I know what y'all are thinking, that this is major overkill for something like this. Well, that is definitely true. But the cool thing about this is it's kind of like a multiple trick pony. You can take this out and use it in the truck if you want to or use it on another trailer. So you got one key that fits multiple locks more or less. So I hope it gives you some insight to build something like this yourself. One thing that I've noticed though since both of these have got pins in them that hold the, the two hitches together. When you stop and start you know this this penalize already got a lot of slack in it. So it it sounds like a train whenever you stop. I mean, just ch -ch 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 -ch. I mean, all that slag just hitting each other back and forth. So probably wear issue is probably going to be pretty high. But other than that, it's it's seems to be pretty solid. But once again, guys, I hope you liked it. Subscribe to me if you hadn't already. And once again, guys, I will see y'all next time. Y'all be good from Classic Work.